Dear students, today we will be learning interpretation of X-ray and the X-ray we have chosen is an abdominal X-ray and this X-ray is an anterior posterior view of an X-ray abdomen and specifically if you can see at the bottom of this X-ray it is saying KUB X-ray. So what this KUB stands for? So the word K refer to the kidney the word u refer to ureter and the word b refers to bladder which bladder urinary bladder so this abdominal x-ray must be showing these three structures so that is what we need to know now if we look into this x-ray first structure where we should be targeting is the bones so for that i need to erase all that so we can start labeling it again so now the bones i'm interested in looking at the lower ribs and out of the lower ribs i want to see where is my rib number 11 and where is my rib number 12. after knowing these ribs and after localizing on both the sides, then I need to look into the vertebrae. And which vertebrae I'm, I'm interested at the moment? The vertebrae are my lumbar vertebrae. And let me number them. So you can see the... So what you can see here, the first lumbar, the second lumbar, the third lumbar, fourth and the fifth lumbar vertebrae. And after that, you can see at the bottom of these vertebrae, these vertebrae, these are also vertebrae, but they have fused. And this together, that is called what? This structure is called here as sacrum. And then we can see this bony pelvis and these are the coxal bones or the hip bones. So these are the coxal bone and a hip bone and we all know they are made up of three bones and right now we are looking at the ilium. Now, after that, what we are looking at and what is important for us, we need to identify where is the junction between this sacrum and this coxal bone. And you can see which has been drawn with by this white line and that is given a name of sacro iliac joint that is important and then going down if you can focus here let me draw it for you there is a spine like structure and this spine like structure we call it this is a this is a projection a bony projection which is coming from my ischial bone so this is an nothing but an ischial spine now after identifying these out of me these lumbar vertebrae what you can identify you can see their transverse processes and which has been present in both the sides of each of these vertebrae and out of these transverse processes what is important for us and which is really needed in future for understanding is the tip of these transverse processes because these tips they will be used as a guide to identify something which is really important so out of these bones these are the very very important structure where we need to be clear but the story is not complete unless if I don't mention about something which we have talked about earlier. And if you can focus in this pelvis, you can see that there is a pattern. And this orange structure, what I have drawn it for you at the moment, we call it pelvic brim. What is this pelvic brim? Basically, this is a demarcation point between the true 
and the false pelvis. We'll talk about true and false pelvis when we'll be talking about the pelvis as such. And that will be coming in my next coming videos. So now this pelvic brim is a reference point which we have used when we were talking about the pathway of the ureter. The place where my abdominal ureter was becoming the pelvic ureter when it crosses this pelvic brim. And the moment when the ureter was crossing this pelvic brim or the bifurcation of the common ilex, that was referred to the second constriction point in the pathway of the ureter. So I hope the bony structures has been clear so far. So for simplicity, I will erase all of them so we can be able to see the other structures which are more relevant and important for us. So now, going back, something which we always need to look at it, if you can see very carefully, you can see that close to these vertebrae, the transverse processes of these lumbar vertebrae, can you see this line? This is indicative of my source major muscle. So this is my lateral border of the source major muscle. And that is one of the important landmark which should be visible in a normal x-ray of the abdomen. We cannot see all other muscles. And if we need to look into further detail for muscles, then we need to go for the options of CT and MRs. But right now we are just talking, discussing a plain x-ray. So after identifying this muscle, then what we need to look at it. So for that, I'm removing these drawings, whatsoever has been drawn at the moment. Now, my next target, and I'm sure you can see this soft tissue shadow. And there I have marked the left kidney, which was very easily visible. And the basis of that, I was able to draw it, but the right kidney is not that nicely visible. As I have already mentioned to you, that this is a plain x-ray. Now, we have made these kidneys. So, these are, this is my left kidney. And this is my right kidney. Now, previously I was talking about the transverse processes of these vertebrae and especially the tips of the transverse process of these vertebrae, they are important for us. Now I'll be showing you why we need to know about and how they are helpful in identifying something. So that structure, I'll be using another color for that. Okay. So now the ureter, the most posterior structure who is present in the hilum of the kidney is the renal pelvis. And we all know this renal pelvis becomes ureter. So now this ureter has a long journey and what you can see interesting point, it follows a making the left ureter for you. It follows the tips of these transverse processes on both the sides. And you can see it runs in front of this source major muscle. And now, then it crosses the sacroiliac joint. You can see that we have already drawn it. Then the next target for ureter is to reach near to this ischial spine. And then it turns inward. Inward for what? It turns inward and it opens into this structure. And that is my urinary bladder. So now you have seen the kidney on the left side, the ureter and the urinary bladder. So I have made on the left side and similarly I can draw it on the right side as well. 
and I'll be following the same landmarks. So by doing this drawing, now we can see that this ureter is closely related to the tips of these transverse processes of my lumbar vertebrae. It is running in front of the sauce major muscle. It's crossing in front of these sacroiliac joints and then it's going so close to these ischial spine and then it enters into the vicinity of the urinary bladder. Thank you very much.